God called Jonah with love and gave him the anointing which he never gave to any prophets in the Bible. With one sermon, he can be able to save one and a half lakh of people. What a great anointing. I don't think any preacher has achieved that anyone is going to achieve. That blessing God gave to Jonah. He heard it. But he didn't want to take it in. Meditate on it. Why did God give it to me? Why did God send me? He said, no, I don't want to work. His body told him, I am tired. His mind told him, you need rest. God says, I need you desperately. I know you. I will take care of you. He says, no, I am tired. Satan made him tied up to self. Cross means crossing I, the self. The self I is being destroyed. That is called the cross. Cross is I disappears and we becomes alive. God tells Jonah, son go. He says no. And the moment he went away without God, without meditating, his mind was empty. Evil spirit entered into him and threw him into the sea. And Jonah, going into the water, he cries to God for mercy. Love once again forgives him, lifts him up from the pit and makes him to continue his mission. God never gives up. He has called us for a purpose. That's why in the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 29, it is written, The call and gift of God are irrevocable. God calls us. He never takes it back. God gives the gift to Lucifer, but he never takes it back, that power. God's call and gift of God are irrevocable. Man can destroy the love of God by living in a reckless way by his sin. Jonah destroyed his life by not obeying God. Samson destroyed his call and power by reckless living. Saul, God made him the king. He committed suicide and died. Prayerless life is powerless life. Christless life is pain-filled life, miserable life. If Christ has to be filled, we have to take the word and fill, meditate on it. The more we meditate on the gospel, the gospel will lead us to the truth, will lead us to the thinking of Jesus. The more we spend time with the word, the more we understand Jesus, the more we understand his presence, and only love will enable us to overcome sin. Only in love you reject sin. Only in love you come out of your weakness. And that's why David said in Psalm 119 verse 9, How can a young man 
live a holy life lord is it possible everywhere temptation everywhere disturbance everywhere sin amidst all this how can a young man live a holy life lord is it possible he says yes by meditating on your word by treasuring your word on the heart treasuring the love of god how much he loved me go to the cross are you disturbed go to the cross look at the cross there he will talk to you the love will talk to you i gave everything of mine for you and i am still with you yes it is on the cross that's why in first corinthian 118 it is written the cross is meaningless for others but for us it is the power of god love calls us back to himself love calls us we fall in sin sin destroys but love rebuilds us love calls us back lord lifts us up yes as we lift up our hand remember the lord what he has done for you look into your own life remember your faults what type of sin what type of selfishness what type of tricks you wanted to play in the world and that have thrown you into the deep sea like that of jonah but still god's mercy saved him he was going deep into the pit he was crying and god was there where he was crying god's hand was there next to moment to lift him up god never delayed the next moment he was saved because even when we are fallen even when we have gone away from us the love of god pursues us the love of god comes behind us waiting for us when will i my son call me when will my daughter call me love never gives up love waits for me the love of god waits for me to call upon him and i will be saved i will be delivered love comes behind me and when i call upon him he saves me lifting up your hands surrender your life to him understand love understand sin understand the evil that is trying to destroy love from you i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be praised so shall i be safe from my enemies i will call upon the lord i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be I be safe from my enemy I will call upon the Lord The Lord live and blessed be my rock let the God of my salvation be exalted the lord live 
and blessed be my rock let the god of my salvation be exalted i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be Shall I be saved from my enemy? I will 